loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. There's so much going on this week and there's so much information that it is that I received that I wanna share with you guys. So I don't wanna wait any longer. I wanna go ahead and dive right in. The first thing that I want you to be aware of is the fact that Mars does go direct this week starting on Monday. Mars rules our drive and our ambition. When Mars is direct, everything that it is that we try to get off the ground, that we wanna lift off the ground, projects, relationships, physical activity, exercise, all of those things are diminished and quieted down. Now when Mars finally goes direct, they start to rev their engines up again. This works to give you that surge of power and energy that you're gonna need in order to get things implemented and started once again, whether it be an old project or whether it be something new. Interestingly enough, the message that came to me this week while I entered into my meditation was this image of this goddess energy that was lying dormant. She was lying on her side and she had this big pregnant belly and covering her her shoulders was moss and leaves and the shade from the trees of this forest that it was that she was resting in. It was beautiful for me to see it, but it was so symbolic because for most of us, when Mars was retrograde, it was requiring us to really quiet our energy down and quiet our spirit down so that we can look within, so we could recharge our batteries and have restorative activities of our own. This goddess that was lying in repose in the middle of this forest was connected to earth energy, but also spiritual energy and the cosmos. This works so perfectly with the full moon that it is that we're just walking out of, that Pisces full moon. Pisces connects to the cosmos, our intuition, and our higher source, our higher source of knowing. Meanwhile, Virgo is sitting on the very opposite side, the sun sitting in the sign of Virgo, and she connects to earth energy. She takes the Pisces idealistic vision and this intuitive knowing that comes from within and then creates a plan. That's the balance between Pisces and Virgo energy. Virgo falls with in the sixth house ruling our day-to-day -day activity, our day-to-day -day hygiene, and then Pisces connects to our inner knowing, our intuition, the ability to receive divine, divinely inspired messages, to be artistic, romantic, to have in our lives next level experiences when it comes to love and our lifestyle and our day-to-day -day routine. I've been saying this all week, Pisces is so in tune with the cosmos and their own intuition and that full moon work to activate that energy in your life so that you're not only connected to your feelings and your emotions because that's what the full moon does. It brings all of that emotion up to the surface. But what that Pisces full moon works to do is to connect you to not only that emotion, but that feeling. What it is that you know deep within your spirit, within your soul. These are visions that only you can see. That's the Pisces full moon download. So the information that you receive during that full moon and that vision that you see that is that can be so idealistic is connected to your soul purpose. It's the deepest desires of your heart. It's a part of your reason for being here. Only Pisces energy can, can connect with that because that comes directly from a higher spirit, a higher source. What Virgo then does, because Virgo sits on the opposite side, is she works to create that plan. She helps you to manifest it, to take that vision and make it practical, to make it realistic, to create a step-by-step task list of how we can bring it to life, how we can achieve it. That's the beauty of the balance between Pisces and the Virgo relationship, and that's what's going on in our stars in the cosmos this week. The next thing that it was that came to me during my meditation is, again, back to that goddess energy, that woman lying pregnant in the woods. And she was there for a reason. She needed sacred solitude. She needed to retreat. She needed to go on a, a break, a pause. And I saw that in my own own life with the days building up to the Pisces full moon. I had every intent on working through the weekend and working my magic during the weekend, but the universe, my angels, my guides had something far better for me in store that I had to follow my intuition and honor. I did that and I was so inspired by the activity that was happening around me and also within me. And that's what's leading me to this next message that I wanted to share with you guys. And that's Sometimes when you're calling out to the universe or you're setting your intentions or you're working your magic, it seems like you're not getting anything in return. Now for me personally, I was seeing the return, but I didn't feel it to my core. I wasn't, I was happy about it, but I didn't feel fulfilled. For me, I always want to feel connected to the divine. I always want to feel connected to the higher source. I always want to be connected to the higher source and the divine within me. So when I was manifesting these things into my life, and just feeling disconnected from myself and from my own spirit, it was making me feel disappointed, it was making me feel defeated, and it was also making me feel disconnected. 
for me taking a pause and removing myself from my magic from my altar from my home from my sacred space from my apothecary didn't make any sense but we as humans we don't know what the universe has for us and, and how things are all gonna fall together and how things relate sometimes the message that it is that you need to hear is not going to be obvious it's not going to be any signs and these signals that happen right away and are in your face sometimes your guides your angels and even the cosmos are going to work to put you in a place where you come to the conclusion for yourself the way for you to come to the conclusion all by yourself is if you actually remove yourself from a space of expectancy and open up to unlimited potential of what can happen and what you'll see and what you'll hear and what you'll feel and also what you'll experience. Your angels, your guides, they're not going to be this loud voice that you hear all the time. If your angels and your guides spoke to you loudly and clearly all the time, you would constantly come back and keep tapping them for more messages. You'll be more reliant on them and then lose your own independence, lose your own personal power. You need to be equal parts independent as you are reliant. Your guides know this, so they'll actually pull back away from you sometimes at the, at the moment when you feel like you need it the most so that you can actually be in a space where you're number one uncomfortable but number two you're quieted down so that you can then come to the conclusion yourself they're not doing this to punish you they're doing this to show you that you can actually do it and that the answers that is that you're seeking are not coming from external places but internally that's what this Pisces full moon work to do was to help you to connect back to that space, to help you connect back to your routine. The routine is very important because that's ruled by the sixth house, Virgo energy, what was, which was directly opposing the full moon that was happening in the 12th house. Now, when I say houses, I'm not referring to every single sign. I'm referring to how the astrology chart is naturally set up because Pisces and Virgo could rule something totally different within your chart. But remember, the energy that's going on in the stars impacts us here down below on a grand scale. So just as much as the Pisces full moon is working to inspire you and to bring messages to you, divine messages, and also helping you to paint this picture, this greater picture of what it is that you want for your life, and to work your magic with that, the Virgo sun and this Virgo season that we're in is helping you to create a routine in every day day process that is going to help you to take you to that next level. I'm sure you guys have heard the quote, a dream will remain a dream if you do nothing about it, if you take no action on it. So all that being said, the vision of the lady that I received where she's lying out into the woods with the moss covering her is a representation of exactly what we need to do even as Mars is currently turning on all the buttons in order to rev its engines in your life to lift off activity in your projects and other important aspects off the ground we still need a time a moment to go within to go within our sacred space to connect within ourselves not seeking not wanting not desiring but revisiting the image that we want revisiting the life that it is that we want taking care of ourselves internally externally spiritually mentally physically emotionally all of those aspects need to be taken care of in order for you to work this surge of energy that you're going to have you're gonna to need to be in a space that is whole so that you can take your vision your divine purpose from an idea from a dream to actual physical manifestation this is earth energy this is goddess energy this is the support of the cosmos this is the voice of your guides and your angels all of those things are coming together to inspire you to motivate you and to keep you going be open to the element of the prize be fearless in the pursuit of your desires. Build up. When you are being triggered by certain things, realize that it's only a trigger and, it's, and the trigger is there to teach you about yourself so that you can become your highest and greatest version. You're no longer falling victim to these old feelings that resurface at the moment that you get triggered. This week is all about doing better for yourself and bringing that greater dream to life. Thank you guys so much for watching, for sharing, commenting, and hitting the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe because I post videos weekly. I'll see you soon, bye.